Hi, this is Sarah Stonecipher Boylan, the Digital Missioner for the Learn Learning Department at Virginia Theological Seminary. I am here to give you some tips about how to share your screen on Zoom. So I'm going to go over a PowerPoint, an online PowerPoint, a PDF or a Word document, a JPEG, and then finally a movie. So we're going to go through those five things together. You'll notice that I have my screen set up on Zoom, and I'm actually recording my entire screen. So just to let you know, you'll so you'll see my back my backdrop my background, and I'll be jumping back and forth from all of those different things. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a PowerPoint. So I'm going to bring up my PowerPoint here. I'm going to jump back over to my Zoom screen. This is where it takes some negotiating. I'm going to select my PowerPoint right here. And you can see that the green, the green box means that that is the screen that I am sharing. So I'll make it a little bit smaller for you so then that way you can see it. So you can see this is what it is. That means that everyone at home is just seeing those gr that, that piece that is included in the green box. So I think that this looks, uh, this looks fine, but it also looks a little bit messy because you can see all of the toolbars around the top and all of the thumbnails along the side. So what I would recommend, and this takes a lot of practice, is that when you are sharing, you actually go into presentation mode. So that way, um, you, the people at home are just seeing that entire screen, no thumbnails along the side, and then you can click back and forth as is needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing and escape out from that PowerPoint. And then we'll move on to how to do an online PowerPoint. So an online PowerPoint is exactly what it sounds like. Typically, a lot of our churches are using Google Slides because of our Google Apps um, or Google for Nonprofits um, licensing. So that means that Google Slides is an easy collaborative tool for us to be able to share worship or information or notes or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead. We always start with the share button down below. And we're going to click on Google Chrome. We click share. And you can see that I have the PowerPoint up. It's the exact same PowerPoint for ease of use and reference. And you can see that it's very similar. My face is in the top right hand corner. If there was a different person, if there was an additional person, it would be that you would see um, a, a listing over to the side, which can be a little bit disorienting. You can see a few different faces all at once. And again, very similar to the PowerPoint, you can see that you see the thumbnails over onto the left hand side and you see also all of these like toolbars up here, which again is fine, but it looks a little cluttered. So again, this is where I would recommend going into present mode. And you can see that my screen changed. The Google presentation sometimes takes a second, especially when my computer is recording. And you can see that, um, that everyone at home would just be able to see the entirety of my PowerPoint presentation or my presentation and my face as well. Um, my mouse is a little bit sensitive when it comes to PowerPoint or when it comes to Google presentation. So just be aware that sometimes it can be a little bit messy. So again, so this was an online presentation. And I'm going to go ahead and escape out. I'm going to stop sharing. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and show you what a PDF looks like. Um, what I did was that I, um, from that PowerPoint that I originally made, I created it into a PDF. So sometimes this is a little bit less intimidating because your screen doesn't end up blowing up in presentation mode. Um, so I'm going to bring up my PDF so you can see um, this is before it is shared. And again, I go down to the share button below. Everything starts with the share button. I click on preview, which is my PDF viewer. Oops, sorry. Um, so I'm going to make it smaller so in that way it's a little bit easier to see. From here, you can scroll back and forth. Sometimes it can cause a little bit of seasickness, but that's fine. And sometimes people also have thumbnails over to the left-hand side, so you can click through a little bit easier. The reason why it's squishy is because I, I made it directly from the PowerPoint. If you want it as a full 8.5 by 11, that's also manageable as well. So that's how you would do it within preview. Again, you can't make these sort of go away, these toolbars go away, but it is a really solid option that is, again, sometimes a little bit more ease of use, user friendly in comparison to PowerPoint. So the next one is a JPEG. 
So I went ahead and share and created a JPEG from one of my slides here. Um, so again, gonna go down below, press the share button. Everything starts from the share button. Gonna select my JPEG. So all of, you can see, so if I were to have multiple things up, I would then have to select the thing that I wanted to share. So you can see I have an option of PowerPoint, an example, and my JPEG, and I'm gonna choose my JPEG. From here, you can see that I'm sharing my JPEG because I have a green box around it. And from here, you can click back and forth to go like that. This is a marshmallow test to see what kind of marshmallow you like when, on your s'mores. And you can also view the thumbnails over on the left-hand side if you want to. Again, this is with um, Preview, which is um, found within uh, any Mac. There is a PC equivalent um, in order to view images as well. I think it's like Windows Photo Viewer or Windows Movie Viewer. All right, the last one that I wanna share with you all is how to do a, uh, a movie. Um, so there's one critical step um, that, that you need to do in order to make certain that it is easy to hear um, and, e and mainly just easy to hear. So I'm gonna go ahead and, sh and give you the secret hint on how to do that. You're gonna press the share button. And then before you select Google Chrome, you're gonna press share computer sound. And then I'm gonna select Google Chrome. And then from there, you'll be able to see, um, you'll be able to witness that the, the computer sound will pipe immediately into the Zoom meeting. YouTube would not let me share what it sounded like, but know that it is possible to uh, have the sound from the computer automatically piped into the Zoom meeting rather than the speakers of the video picking up on the microphone. So this really does make it a lot easier. And the secret button is down below in the left-hand corner, um, and we'll go ahead and highlight that right now. So with that, we went over how to do a PowerPoint, how to do an online PowerPoint, a PDF or a Word document, a JPEG, and then a movie. So I hope that this is helpful for you as you are entering into this new um, realm of online worship and online community. Reach out to me if you have any other questions. Um, and I'm gonna be making these videos every weekday. So please let me know if there's something in particular that would be helpful for you and your ministry. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.